The Acts of the Adepts, Chapter One. Bahauddin Velid Sultanu Ulema, the beauty of the religion of Islam, Sultan, son of the doctors of the law. The king of Khorasan, La Uddin Muhammad Khurem Shah, uncle of Jalalu Din Muhammad Arezm Shah, as the proudest as he was, the most handsome man of his time, gave his daughter. Malika e Jahan, queen of the world, as to the only man worthy of her, to Jalaluddin Hussein el Khatibi, of the race of Abu Bakr. An ancestor of his was one of the original. Some conquerors of Khorasan. He was himself very virtuous and learned, surrounded with numerous disciples. He had not married until then, which gave him many an anxious and self accusing thought. He himself, the king, the king's daughter, and the king's vizier were all forewarned in a dream by the prince of the apostles of God. Muhammad, that he should wed the princess, which was done. He was then 30 years old. In due course, nine months afterward, a son was born to him and was named Bahauddin Muhammad. He is commonly mentioned as Bahauddin Felad. When adolescent, this latter was so extremely learned that the family of his mother wished to raise him to the throne as king, but this he utterly rejected. By the divine command as conveyed in the same self night, and in an identical dream, to 300 of the most learned men of the city of Balkh, the capital of the kingdom where he dwelt, those sage doctors unanimously conferred upon him the honorific title of Sultanu Ulema, and they became his disciples. And there's a lot of talk about the shake of the time, you say, the whole, and that sort of stuff. But such are the names and titles by which he is more commonly mentioned, but he is also styled Mevla, Mevlaneya Bazurg, the greater or elder master. Many miracles and prodigies were attributed to him, and some men were found who conceived jealousy at his growing reputation and influence. And Well, if your desires aren't committed, certainly there's stuff to uh, not criticize yourself for having desires, but to be concerned that they may not be directing one towards the best um, outlets. But not all dreams are from God. But sometimes yourself is right too. And that's what most dreams are.